Hey people, Indrid here, BV3, Wrath of Baal, Blue Team. It's all Tyranid fellas, we got Wizard Hoovy with a Hive Tyrant. A durable hero walking through objects cannot be suppressed with powerful offense, disruption and support begins in melee with a basic synapse. I shall call you Espinoza. Alongside, Wonder Founder as a Ravana Alpha. A tunneling hero, great mobility, powerful offense and a bit of support begins with a ranged weapon, there he is. And rounding off this team, they've all shown up, it's Tarek Torgadon with a Lictor Alpha, a melee specialist but infiltrate and disrupt, some powerful offense and a bit of support sneaking up the east side. And they're against SPT, SPB TV Tower with a Force Commander, very strong offense fighting in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support. Kill the scout, casually leaves, does not elaborate. Alongside is Leylon with a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fighting in melee begins with a refractor shield, Mordian Iron Guard elite scheme here and rounding off the teams, Holy Saint Knight, not that holy, they're a plague champion, starts off with a damage of a time bolt gun, they can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support, can also repair, they're on the west side against the Hive Tyrant, although they've just rotated mid immediately here, maybe there's a plan to push the power. Triple them center, they say. Well, they're going to lose their node to Wizard Hoovy on the west side. They have double Hormagons, double Termagants. I like that opening, actually. It's it's quick and aggressive and can overwhelm stuff. Heretics are forward capping. CSM and the, and the Plague Champion is going through the mid. Oh, Biola Spewers on the way. They want to bash this power. It's a full power. Could do a lot of damage with that. They could break the tunnel as well. But, um, yeah, here comes... Leylon to try and defend the west side. The node was got. They could also decap this. They should decap this. I'm not sure why they didn't decap the node, actually. Sentinel in tow with double guardsmen. Not sure where the other guardsmen are. Can we see them? They're idle, actually. Lord Kamasa flies into melee. Shield up. Can't stay there for too long, though. Single Termigants into a Warrior Brood for Wonder Founder. Double Termigants for Tarek Torgadon. Oh, SPB TV Towers lost that Scout Squad. They now have double Tactical Marines on the field. Licked Alpha also grabbed the VP. Look at that. Natural VP up here for the Red Team. Contested in the mid. Usually a big team fight late game as everyone rotates there to defend it. And through the mid here... They only bashed the node, I think. CSM run away. They champion trying to make it out. Here come some heretics. They're not going to have a grand old time, though, without their aspiring champion in against a warrior brood and Ravana Alpha DPS. Black grenades are on the way. Heretics are staying in that fight. There's another Doom Blast. I think they're just throwing him into death so that the play champion can back off there. Lick to Alpha through the mid. Gets a special attack on the Sentinel, which wasn't that helpful. I guess it did toss that Sergeant aside. Sentinel needs repairs. They forced Tarek Torgodon off. And there's a Black Grenade on Retreat Path that should take out the Lick to Alpha. Good throw. Don't know if it's going to kill any other models, but I think that Lick to Alpha is going to fall. It did kill the Termigant. Lick to Alpha goes down. Got the others very low. Meanwhile... Espinosa, the Hive Tyrant, now has the Psychic Scream and the Warrior Brood in tow. And they are bashing this power again. Please Rez, says Tarek Torgon on. Defend, says Holy Saint Knight. I assume they are requesting their ally defend this power here. SPB TV Tower did get some more scouts up. Holy Saint Knight has replaced those heretics. But they're just a base idol. Yeah, Plague Champion is just hanging out in the mid. Trying to do some damage with the Biola Spear and that on those Black Grenades. They've just thrown their Bilious Discharge out and it missed. There's a Barb Strangler Warrior Brood here for Wonder Founder. They've got double Warriors up. Other fellas in retreat there. Here comes the Plague Champ with the Black Grenade throw. Might need to run after that. Missed the throw and goes down. Where are the Chaos Space Marines now? They're back at base still. Here comes a big flank. Potentially from Wizard Hoovy. These guys are going to have a bad time. Heavy Bolton needs to turn around. They have no idea what's back here. Oh, they're bashing power first. Okay. Makes sense. 
No toxin sacks in for those guys. No uh, adrenal glands either. Oh, they've got Ravana brewed up now as well. It's a massive, swarmy tier 1 from Wizard Hoovy. I like it. Every weapon squad has turned around. Sentinel also having a go. With the ground pound. Those guys need to set up. There we go. Might be too much for them to stop though. There's a psychic scream. Can't suppress the hive tyrant and he just gets in there and starts going to town with those big old claws. Those talons that are the size of a guardsman. Probably, probably bigger actually. So that heavy weapon squad did not last. They needed to focus the hive tyrant. They needed to uh, target that guy manually. Tarek Torgadon goes tier 2. Nobody else goes tier 2 yet. Oh, SPB has lost one of their tactical marine squads. They're having a rough time on this side. Can I see any of their bodies? There's some dead scouts. There's some dead marines up there. But that could have been from ages ago. More dead marines here. Maybe they were going for a power bash. Look, whole thing went on over here. Meanwhile, I don't think Wizard Hoovy has been off the field yet. The Hive Tyrant has barely taken any damage. 410 to 486. Yet more power bash. And that was a decent black grenade throw though. Look at that. Now they have fetid armor. Can they wipe out those termigants? One hit point. They get away. They wish they had, they had their bolter back for that second. Assault squad on the way for SPB TV tower. I'm not going to call you TV tower now, buddy. Tax grabbing that point back with faster capping. Lick to alpha doing some decapping. Assault squad should help bully the termigants, but Lick to Alpha can get some nasty power melee weapons to mess them up. Meanwhile, west side, these guys are trying to steal back this node, which was theirs at some point because they built they built a gen on it. This node has been bashed here, needs to be rebuilt. You've got scouts with shotguns and sergeant, therefore grenade force commander with artificer armor. Just kind of hiding out in the mid, does not want to be on the east side anymore. Infestation tower up. There are the assault marines. Where are those double termigants? They are just defending their power right now. No sign of another flame or anything. Assault squad trying to get back. Wreck point. Lick to alpha. Sneaking around with hormigaunts. Upgraded hormigaunts in tow. Alien fiends indeed. What are you going to do about it, fellas? You're going to back away. Are they wait? Are they waiting? Waiting for the force commander and the scouts. Can they catch the hormigaunts with the grenade? Lick to Alpha is quite low. Yeah, double termigants need to be jumped immediately. Double termigants with to toxin sacks will tear through scouts quite quickly. Lick to Alpha falls again. That might be tricky to revive them there. TV tower can now maybe push the power. While the caps, while the caps, while the attacks fast cap. What is this? It's Wizard Hoovy. Wonder Founders Warrior Brood going towards the mid. They got a Venom Brood up. Tier 3 for Torgodon. Power bashing in the northwest. What a weird game so far. Holy Saint Knight is down to just Chaos Space Marines again. Fake Champion is down. Oh, they put a heavy bolter turret up. On this natural power. Looks like it's going to be dealt with. Ravana Alpha has the Corrosive Devourer. Very dangerous weapon. Huge amounts of plasma DPS. Lord Commissar is over on the east side now. With the Missile Sentinel. That could do some work against that big blob of... Uh oh. Big blob of Termigans. The scouts are going to wipe. The scouts do wipe. Sloppy there from TV Tower. The Sentinel needs to target the Termigans, I think. Here comes a Lord Commissar. Assault squad. Oh, they didn't jump out in time. Big losses for TV Tower. They're going to be kicking themselves. Lick to Alpha. Makes it out. I guess they were rebought. But I didn't actually see. Lord Commissar level 2 with the Carapace Armor. Gives him some buffs when they use the Inspire Courage. Which executes the Guardsmen to buff their damage to double. Well, executes any infantry, I guess. Level 2 Sentinel has actually been used quite well so far. Meanwhile, up in the northwest, the Plague Champion has been rebought. Level 4. 
finally back to defend their power. Ogrin's on the field for Leylon, so we might see Aura of Discipline. Power Bash. Has Wizard Hoopy been off the field yet still? Hive Parent now has Rending Talons and Extended Carapace, and that is a really good Noxious Cloud that wiped all the Hormagaunts and all the Termagants. Holy crap, that was a good Noxious Cloud. Take Champion did go down. Noxious Cloud's still here. Wizard Hoopy does not care. Warrior Brood insanely low here. How do you have three models? The Ogrins can run at them for a second and, and bash them a bit. There's the retreat. Espinosa the Hive Tyrant off the field. Finally, these guys are going to force melee combat there so they can't fire the Barb Strangler. Here come those Ogrins. They have their boned leader. Gets a hat. The only one smart enough to put a hat on, I think. Termigants flee. Red team will take the mid. 3 2 5 to 4 10. East side. Force commander level 2 now. Carney Fex on the way for Tarek. We do have a Dreadnought though for TV Tower. So if that Carney Fex gets a ranged upgrade, the Dreadnought could just smack it in melee perhaps. Or get a Multi Melter. They still have a Tactical Marine Squad that could get. Missile Launcher and of course the Force Commander can get a Power Fist to counter that Carnifex with its vehicle armor. Ogryn is making a good impact. Chunk of XP already. Lord Kamasa levels to 4. CSM happy to mix it up in melee apparently with Hormagons. Unupgraded Hormagons and there is a Brood Nest they can take out. Global ability of a Hive Tyrant. You can reinforce around this but it's just going to be shot down it seems. Ogrins, bad place to be fellas. Ravana Alpha doing so much damage to them with that Corrosive Devourer. Just slicing through, or well, burrowing through I suppose, or devouring their super heavy infantry armor. There is some physics shenanigans going on here. Eventually they disappear or that would just go on forever I assume. Here's a Jinx the Brood, good black grenade throw again. Looks like they're going to tough it out. And down goes the Plague Champion again. They do have melee synapse for that Gene Sitter Brood. 287 to 405. 2 to 1 cap for the red team. But can they hold on? Holy Saint Knight is in tier 3. But all they have right now is Chaos Space Marines. And Leylon is a 2v1 here. Carnifex is up. They've gone for a Strangle Thorn Cannon. So a Dreadnought could get into melee and deal with it maybe there's a tyrant guard and venom brood up though and they could get on the dreadnought and do some work tyrant guard has super heavy infantry armor tons of hit points though it is vulnerable to plasma and melter damage ogrins smacking around some warriors they're trying to go for a sentinel which is not a good target for them typically it's only got a little bit of health left. It's worth these guys getting plasma guns, I think. I'm sure Leylon is weighing up their next purchase very, very carefully. Holy Saint Knight asking for a revive in the mid. It might be tricky right there, buddy. Everyone's here, though. Leylon's here, right? Yeah, Leylon's going to push up. And TV Tower is here with a Dreadnought and a Power Fist. And that's a drop pod with some Marines in it. Dreadnought having a grand old time. Awesome shot from that Strangle Thorn Cannon. Those guys need to flee. Dreadnought now could be in big trouble. Where's the Ravana Alpha? Are you here? Yeah, and they're using corrosive shots. And there's a Venom Brood there. Dreadnought, I think, is going to fall. Force Commander needs to tie something up. The Marines that got called in are going to fall. Sloppy play from TB Tower. They do revive the play champion. But they lose the Dreadnought. I think Termigant's actually finished it there. He was waiting for the Venom Brood to, to um, catch up. Ogryn stopped in their tracks by the Stranglethorn and of course by Crippling Poison. Tyrion is looking strong in the mid. Wizard Hoovy down to two units. But they just got a Genes of the Brood up. Again. Genes of the Broods will slice through Marines very easily. 
This awesome sentinel is still going, level 3. Those poor guardsmen trying to repair under duress, let's say. Under nasty Stranglethorn cannon. Or Kumasar gets away. You got any, any other war gear, buddy? No, nope. level 5 though. Oh, Raffina catches up and easily takes out the rest of that sentinel's hit point bar. Tier 3 for Leilon. Holy Saint Knight with a Land Raider Phobos on the way. Bash the power. How's this power doing? They got gens up here. And gens 001 generator over here. Hormagaunts are working on it. But level are these tacks now? Level 2. They got devastators on the field with a Laz Cannon. Would help them deal with the big old Khan effects. Take out that capillary tower first, though, eh? Here's the power bash attempt from Wizard Hoovy. A decent black grenade throw. Here's some chosen Plague Marines now for Holy Saint Knight. Unique to the Plague Champion. Passively damaged nearby enemies. Power melee with a damage of a time effect. They can also use Nurgle's Rot to create some zombies, which is fun. Didn't manage to get any of that done there. But now, Land Red of Phobos time. Another Khan fix on the way for Tarek. Was hoping for a for a great unclean one here. But the Phobos will be really good at hunting the Khan effects. 276228. Might want to get some yet. Heretics on the way. Because the Phobos you can worship as a big demon engine. You know, get a bunch of health regen and stuff. Lick to Alpha doing Lick to Alpha things. No war gear on this fellow. Almost level 3. Ravana Alpha went down. And that guy's a big threat. Good shot on those guardsmen. Ogrins unable to get in there. Gene Stealers were lurking. And that's a rough fight for Ogrins with Gene Stealers in play. Here's the Phobos taking a bunch of damage from the Venom Brood and from the Carnifex. Res, please, says Wonder Founder. Here comes the Force Commander. Trying to power fist that Carnifex. Light grenade throw again. Where's the Plague Champion? Are they in inside the Phobos? I think so. These Gene Sitters do have their rending claws and so they're doing good damage to that Phobos. A lot of it, actually. Can they take him out? Oh, they got greedy. Tried to get rid of the Phobos right there, right then. Warrior Brood, do not make it out. Sink kill there for the Lord Commissar. Style points for him. Force Commander level 4. Level 6 Commissar. Level 7 Plague Champion. Now helping to repair this Phobos. The Guardsmen also pitching in. Sounds like quite a lot of heresy. But Chosen Plague Marines, 2,000 hit points when they come out of base. They both are both strangle thorns. Stormlord now for Leilon. That's an anti-infantry super heavy tank that allows you to reinforce in the field. It's a big deal. You can also jump inside of it for a transport. Not super useful against these con effects. I mean it does have las cannons on it. It's not gonna it's not gonna be worthless against them. They've got a las cannon anti-vehicle, they've got ogrins that can get onto the con effects and rip them apart. With their heavy melee. They've got that power fist. Tax with no upgrade. Swarm Lord on the way for Wonder Founder. That's 2,000 more vehicle hit points they have to get through. Something decapped over here, which is good for the red team. They've got these gens. They've got this gen. They've got these gens. They've got these gens. They've got a lot of power income right now, the red team, at plus 74 per minute. Four boss has been repaired. Getting a bit too far forward for my liking, though. We'll see how it does. There's an orbital bombardment from TV Tower. And we've got some Bulgrins on the field. You can see them there with their slab shields using the user shield ability to electrify and suppress nearby enemies. And then they run into an orbital beam. Not the smartest guys. They tanked it pretty well, though. And now they've retreated. Carnifexes leave the area. Chosen Plague is looking for a fight. They might have found one. They should be able to deal with this. Uh, 
That's what that's that's ideal for the chosen playgrounds when something just runs at you because they're not very good at mobility themselves. Taking a huge amount of damage down. There's Noble's Rot. Maybe they should have used that a little bit earlier. Down goes a Broodness. There's a Noxious Cloud came in a little bit late. 276 to 128. Red team with a very good push there. And that was without the Stormlord. Here it is. With a Vulcan Mega Bolter on the front there. Last cannons on the sides. Also some heavy bolters somewhere in there. At the front. It's cool. The Vulcan Mega Bolter does like 100 DPS Inferno PvP damage. Very good. Anti-infantry damage type. Victor Alpha. Doing a good job. Keeping pressure on that VP. Phobos has pushed up for some reason. It's not power bashing. What's it doing here? Play champion doing their thing. They used to be able to bash power way, way quicker. But they have quite heavily nerfed the power bashing capability of the Vile Spewer. I think they slightly overdid it. But it's, it's still a really good weapon. It seems slower than like a tactical marine flamer now. There goes a Nurgle Shrine. There's the decap. Nicely done by Holy Saint Knight. Nurgle Shrine is being worshipped. Everything around it will heal up. 7% periodically. Trying to formation comes in. Did it target the shrine? I think they missed I think they missed the shrine. There's a dirge cast, the Tyrion is coming from the angle, Swarm Lord is in there, and there's that Storm Lord. These guys are being suppressed because of that Nurgle Shrine and they're not taking it out. Where's the Black Grenade throw, Mr. Plague Champion? Did they use it already? Here it comes. They just chucked it. Could have done with that a little bit earlier, I think. When everything's all blobbed up. There's a bunch of Gene Stealer Brutes in here. Triple Gene Stealers for Hoovy. And they're pushing on that Storm Lord a lot. The Phobos went down very quickly. Can the Storm Lord survive? Bulgrin's doing what they can. I'm not sure what they should be targeting here. I guess the Carnifex is. The Venom Brood has stopped chasing. What's that? Rocket run. From Leylon. That's a good one too. There's still Jeanslers on the Stormlord. Two of them have Rending Claws. Needs to keep moving. Needs to keep moving. Needs some repairs. I think it's going to survive. It does survive. And that thing put a dent in the Tyranids as well. Lord Kamosan now has a Xenos Power Claw and Aura of Dissonance. Another shrine back there I didn't notice before. We now have a Land Raider Redeemer from TV Tower. Tarek has nothing on the field anymore. Aside from Lictor Alpha, of course, with no war gear. Yeah, that's a big dent to the blue team. They have a VP lead. I'm not sure if that's enough time for Tarek to respond. They have a ton of red. And a ton of power. They could get another Carnifex up, maybe. Lehman Russ on the way for Leylon. There's that user's shield, suppressing the termagants, if nothing else. Also gives them some extra defensive bonuses, so it's worth using if you're just in a fight with something that doesn't get suppressed. Sacred standard up for the Force Commander. That could be huge in these big team fights. It's buffing those chosen plague marines right now. 194 to 108. These guys can all now retreat back to the Land Raider Redeemer. I don't think it should be pushing up like this, though. It just had a good, big engagement, so maybe they're feeling confident, I suppose. Need to get their VPs in order, though, because this Lictor Alpha is doing this a lot. Doing this a lot. Got some regular Plague Marines on the field now for Holy Saint Knight. With a snaring missile launcher. Ready to missile launch at Carnifex's... This thing is still pushing up, this Land Raider. Gene Stealers are now on it. Triple Gene Stealers with claws. I think they can deal with it. Yep. Blue team are falling apart. Another Swarm Lord on the way for Tarek this time. 
but blue team have surely done enough. Look how much damage this land raider took though, needlessly I think. If they were back here with the chaos stuff, gene stealers wouldn't have been able to approach that well. Holy Saint Knight now with a great unclean one on the way. They need to they need to park something over here to keep the Lictor Alpha off it. That's gonna just extend the game a bit. Lictor Alpha's now on the other side of the map. Ravenna Alpha's here. Oh, they got revived. That took ages to revive that guy. Wonder found aid. There's barely any tyrant is left. There's a triple cap for the red team. They should probably just concede at this point, but they'll they're pro they're playing it out. Victor Alpha's on a mission to decap that VP again. Lord Kamasa, I was waiting here. Level 6. Yeah, they'll easily deal with them with war gear and level 6. Victor Alpha could annoy them with a flesh hooker and leave, maybe. But uh, otherwise, it's not going to work. It's not going to work out. Here's another swarm board. Multimelter on the top of that. Land Raider really helping out. There's a LAS cannon, there's a Plague Marine missile launcher, there's that Power Fist. Looks like these guys got a plasma gun going. Oh hey, Venom Cannon on the Hive Parent now. Getting some good damage on the Land Raider. Swarm Lord falls over. Assault Terminator is now on the field for TV Tower. What happened over here? He went for it. Lictor Alpha gave it a go. Needs to get Lone Hunter and stuff. That is going to get. Yeah, Power Clawed. Stormlord survived. They just got... They just overextended one too many times, the Tyranids. Especially Wizard Hoovy. He started so strong. But they were very haphazard with those Gene blobs that they had. Oh, they got the Land Raider down. Stormlord paid for it. I guess the Swarm Lords just regenerate somewhere, so they're not too bothered. But yeah, it's a triple cap. Blue team decimated the Tyranids fall. So much death in the mid. Bulgrins, what level did you guys get? Level 3. 2,900 hit points on those fellas. GG indeed. It was a fun one. Not the highest level game ever, but it seemed relatively evenly level kind of thing. So it was a good game. Chaos Terminator is coming in at the end. Let's look at his heroes. Level 4, Espinosa. Started so strong. Was on the field for so long. And then um, a bit a bit too much aggressiveness. Level 4, Ravana Alpha. Lictor Alpha, level 3. Did a bunch of good anti-VP work over here. Level 10, Force Commander by the end for TV Tower. Had a torrid time early on that east, start, east side, but they stabilized quite well. Level 7, Lord Commissar. And Holy Saint Knight, who had a strange game, was all over the map doing all sorts of things. And uh, turned out pretty effective in the end, really. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.